I got a request to teach this cute little rooster. I'm going to make it as easy as I can for you and I'm going to show you step by step how to paint the feathers and the shape and the colors. So let's get started. So all you need for this painting today are your primary colors of red, yellow and blue and you can add sap green and burnt umber and black and white. So the brushes now, you need for this painting are some bristle brushes. It's always nice to have bristle brushes on hand, small, medium, large, you know, whatever you have there, okay, you know, three sizes of, of brushes. And this is the uh, one inch, and this one's a number eight, and I have smaller ones there, and I like to have those on hand. And if you can't find those bristle brushes, the one inch, I have this one here I can send to you, and I'll just charge you shipping, because I don't, I, you know, they're not, if you can find them at your uh, store, then That'll be great, but uh, I have in here some people Next, that we find. will have uh, flat synthetic chisel and edge have brushes. some uh, nice little skinny round brushes, uh, liner brushes, things like that. And um, my voice. So to get started, all you need to do is get your canvas, and you can. You can prime it with gesso if you want. I don't prime my canvases very often because they're already primed. And this is a 9x12 canvas board. And I got the pattern here for you. So I'll send you the pattern. And we'll just transfer the pattern onto our canvas with carbon paper. You've seen me do this before. So you just tape it on and then trace out the outline and then you got your nice rooster ready to go now the first thing we want to do is start painting and I'm going to start with these little things up there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my red my chiseled edge brush and you don't want your chisel edge to be too big, okay? Because you want to be able to fit in with the painting. And I'm going to add some ultramarine blue to that. Because I want to darken it a bit. I don't want the red to be a bright red yet. So, we will. If this brush is too big, you can always change it. Get that in there. Make sure your brush is not too big. There we go. If your brush is too big, you can always use a, a liner brush or a smaller, a smaller flat brush. As long as it's got a nice chiseled edge on it that you can work with. Good. So you might need two coats. I want to get a smaller brush. Probably a small brown brush. I like the chisel edge. I find that work better, but it has to be smaller. All right. All you do is fill in that. Just you fill it in so you can get the shape. Okay. Right. Mainly trying to get the shape right now. That's what we're more concerned with right now is getting shapes. shape. Cute little shape. Now, simple. Good. Now we can go back to our chisel edge brush again. And I think it should be able to fit that in there. So I'm going to use 
Burt Sienna for this part here I'm going to use a dark burnt sienna if you don't have burnt sienna just use a brown that you have add a little bit of red and yellow and that will give you burnt sienna or you could use a medium brown or a dark brown just take your brush and put on your burnt sienna This is the underpainting we're doing now, okay? That will give us the shape of the rooster. Give us where everything is going to go. Rather than trying to paint everything um, all over the place, not know where you're going, it will be too hard. So this is the easiest way to start this painting. So I like to do. I like to do the shapes first. Make sure I got them correctly. Just because you traced it out don't mean anything. It's painting it in is the most important thing. If you trace it out and you paint over your lines, you can't find your lines, and things don't look right. Then you start all over. Okay, we got some burnt sienna. Now, for, let's see, let's see, let's see. This part here, I'm going to use burnt umber. Burnt umber. Have a look at some of the roosters um, anywhere, and uh, some pictures, and see what their feathers look like and the colors. You know, because I could interpret my rooster could it be interpreted way different than uh, what your rooster might look like. Okay, that's that, and I'm going to use burnt umber here too. I think just so it will be able to be separated. Okay. not going to come down that far. And then, just got to remember where all the lines are. Like I say, you got to remember where everything went. Burnt. Right there. All right. Okay, I think the rest of it could be probably black. Put black. I know. But why? Well, we got to get it so we know where everything is. Black underpainting, okay? It's okay to use black for underpainting, so or you can add colors to them. Or you can make your own black. See the chiseled edge, you can get around those areas better. Okay. Right. So you see, we can see the shape, see? See, see? Let's see, let's see. I'm going to back over that so I know. Now, let me see where it goes down here. See, we're establishing the shapes right now, all right? That there, I think. All right, guys, a little pair of shorts on. Got a little pair of shorts on. Good. And back here. Yep, all black. Hmm. 
it's quite as humpy as that. I think I might have missed something. But it's just a little cross. Get it all in place so we know what's going on. Just using black right now. Using black and trying to get shapes. Look at that. Starting to come alive. Cute. It looks, um, the shape looks okay, doesn't it? I'm going to put some of that red color that we put on the top here. I'm going to put some of that red color on the face. Let's see, let's see, let's see, there's an eye here. A little bit here. So let's get around here first. All right. Now I've got to figure out where the eye is. When you get the pattern, you'll be able to see where everything is. I'll make sure that all the lines, proper lines, are in there for you, so it won't be so hard. It's going to be shadowed there. And I'm going to put some more down here. Now, let's see what we can do with the beak. So using my small round brush again, I'm going to add a little bit of white to that red that I had. Brighten up a small bit so we can establish that it's separated from the rest of the face. Just add a bit of white to that reddish color. And just brighten it up so that we can see what we're doing here. Done. We're just going to put some black in there so we can see that he has an eye and we'll wor worry about the rest of it after. Just some black and yeah, not too much water. See what happens when you put too much water in your brush? I keep telling you not to do that and I am doing it myself. I'm bad girl. All right. There you go. All right, nice big eye. So for the legs, we'll put in the burnt sienna. As you can see, I put some in there already. So burnt sienna with your small round brush. And fill that in. Burnt sienna. Good. So I have there. everything done. Background underpainting is done. Now, 